Hi guys, it's Jesus here. So on this lesson, we're going to go over the different styles of layout we have in Elias. So on your left side, you click the layout button, the layout icon. And then we have different icons here, but if you click the layout icon on our right, we have our different styles, right? We have the list style, compact, so we have these eight different styles. And I want to go over those pretty quickly. So I already have here on my bottom bar a bunch of different items. Now the important part is that in this case we are looking at two different tabs just to show two different things. But we could even uh, point them all to the same tab. I'm going here, the green tab, the profile tab and the location tab. Okay. So in the, in the profile tab we have user profile. And then in the location tab, we have places. Uh, so every style except the details, which is what I'm looking at here, you are just looking at the whole list of items, at the whole list of rows that you have on your tab. Now, to set those up, you go here to tab, you go here to your tab, and then point the source is the tab that you have in your Google Sheet. So I have already done that here. My list tab is pointing to my profile tab. My checklist is pointing to my location tab. My calendar, again, to the location tab. The map is pointing to the location tab. And actually, let's move this also so that we will see at the same information in different styles. Now, if I open the map, tab, I have already configured the style to be a map, okay? What I have to do is point my data to the right column. The most important thing in the map style is that we want the address pointing to the column where we have the address for this place. So if I open my spreadsheet, I go to my location tab. Here I have on my column C, I have my addresses for these places. That's how Glide knows where to put those pinpoints in the map because the address matches the column where I have the address. And then we can play around with the other items. In this case, for title, I have the name. For details, I have the description. Of course, ideally, if we have images in our spreadsheet, we will point the image data to our image column. And then captions is just text. Now we have uh, different styles. So the default view can be a list or a map and then users can toggle between using this blue button here toggle between the map view and the list view and finally we have options here so you can either show the compass icon here or not in the map view and that will allow users to click this icon and then the app will ask the user for permission to use their location services in their phone. And that will allow the user to have a live location of where they are. So they can see themselves in the map in relation to the rest of the pinpoints you have in your map. And this is, option is on by default. So as you can see, if I click any of these items, then from the bottom, it comes up the, in this case for title, we have the name of the place, the details, the image here on the right, and then the caption. Now, we have the list tab, and the, we have different types of lists, right? And we'll go over this quickly. So we have the list tab, the first one from Glide, which is, again, you have to point our data here to the right column in your spreadsheet. So in this case, the title is pointing to the name, the details pointing to the description. I don't have any captions here, but let's point that to the... I don't know, maybe the category. You see now the image moves to the right and we have all the text in the left. And of course, we always want to have our image pointing to our image column. What happens if we don't, then we lose the image. So if you don't have image, maybe this list, the first list style is not the best one. So in this case, we have it the right way. Now, if you have a lot of data or you don't like this style, then you can also use the compact list you have everything on one row. So you have title, in this case, 
let's change the details because it's too long. So let's make it category, right? So this is a different style, small icon for the image. And then the next list style. So we are looking at the same information, right? But different style. The next style is the tile style. So again, tile details and image. And then the tile style has a lot of different options. So you can have this either as a vertical view or a horizontal view. Then you can change the shape of the tile. So you can make it larger, a square image. You can make it circle. You can make it vertical. So you have a lot of options here. You can also change the corners. So you can make the corners round like we have it here or square. For crop behavior, this is when you have faces. So the artificial, artificial intelligence from Glide will focus or crop the face. You can also only show a few items. So what happens if we do that? We just show four, then we will just show four and then the see all button will come up. And this option is in you know, a lot of different styles. Uh, then when image is not available, we can have this show title so that something shows up if you don't have an image in that row. And then we have the text style. So in this case, we have the text below the image. We can also have the text overlaying the image. We have different alignments, so you can center that, put on the top right, top left, different text sizes. And then we can have overlays on top of the image. So the button will only always point to the favorite, right? So your users will be able to favorite any of these items. You can also add a tag, and the tag will show on the top right, sorry, top left. So in this case, let's choose category, right? So here we have restaurant, here we have retail. So this data is pointing to our category column in our spreadsheet. For avatar, an image comes up. In this case, I don't have any other but it will only be its own. Or maybe for retail, you have a, an icon or a logo for all real retail items. So a little avatar would come up there. And then for a caption, you can also have uh, more text here. So maybe we'll put their phone. So this is the tile style. Uh, and then the card style is pretty similar. We have the same setup, the same style design. But then let's choose another shape. Uh, then we have these cards, right? So we can make it like this. Maybe we change the order from horizontal to vertical. So we can have the, the card style. We use it when we have a lot of data for each item. And we want to show that on the main page on the list. Uh, now moving on to the next option, we have the checklist style, which is, again, you can see we're looking at the same values, the same items, right? Now, the checklist style works when you need to have a, a way to check any of these items. The most important part, so here we have only three items in our data. We have title, we have detail, and then we have our check value. Our check value should always be a Boolean column, which is a true or false column. In this case, I'm pointing the check value to an approved column, which is true or false, it's a check, check box. So users can check any of this, right? This will break up your setup, break up your back end, your Google Sheet. If the check value, you point the check value to some other column, like the image column, then it will break. Um, and then we have the calendar tab, the calendar view, the calendar style. So the calendar style here, and then just like in the checklist, you need a Boolean column, a true or false column. In the calendar, you need a column that has a date. So again, the title is pointing to the name. The when, in this case, is pointing to the a column that I have called inauguration date. So if we go back here to our location, I have here this column called inauguration date, which is a date, right? So if we point it somewhere else, then the calendar doesn't show up because Glide doesn't know when things are happening. So you have to point the when always to a calendar to a date column. 
and then you just can order this from oldest to newest or the other way around. And then finally, the details. So the details is, uh, I don't want to say the trickiest, but the only one different, the details is just looking at a row. Instead of, so in every other style that we have here, we are looking at the whole list of items. The details is only looking at a specific uh, row. In this case, I have the details pointing to my profile tab, and I'm only looking at my own profile. We cover that in another video, but then these are the eight different styles of how you can show your data on the first screening glide.